What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time here. My name is Israel. Thank you for tuning in. Before I get started, make sure you hit that like button. Smash it. Smash it for the YouTube algorithm, guys. So here I want to make a quick video. So we are seeing some heavy liquidation on Bitcoin. I was reading, um, so this gentleman, Gerber Kawasaki, he's a hedge fund, uh, I mean, not, he's a wealth manager, a wealth manager, co-founder and CEO of Gerber Kawasaki Wealth Management. He said that there was some, um, he was mentioned on Twitter that there was some heavy liquidation going on on Bitcoin, uh, talking about some uh, block, uh, some blocks that were sold, some block, some sales, excuse me, some sales about $7.6 billion in a few trades. So obviously we're gonna see some liquidation on at an all time highs, right? That's expected. People are gonna take profit. So this is the daily chart on Bitcoin. I am on the Weeble desktop application. Uh, so yeah, so this is the, the daily trend that I'm paying attention to on Bitcoin. I am not invested in Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency. Because simple fact, number one, I really don't understand cryptocurrency that well yet. So I'm not gonna put my money into something that I don't understand like all the way down. Okay, you know what you know what I mean? Like I don't I'm not gonna invest in something just out of hype, just because it's the the hot chick in the club. I'm not gonna do it. But there is a lot of uh, crypto stocks that I do a trade and invest that are directly related to Bitcoin's price action. So this is a daily trend right now we're at 55, 290, 290 as you can see here. And this is the trend. It broke, this was a massive liquidation candle right here. It was massive, okay? From 62,000 all the way to, it's almost a 10 grand drop on one day. So there was some heavy liquidation obviously going on. There is a lot of talks of people taking money out of crypto to move to other assets because the, the recent run up on the price. But this is what I'm looking at. So this trend right here, it broke. We're gonna move to let's say, say the hourly chart. That's ugly. That's gross guys. <laughs> that was a gross scandal. And this is an hour, wow. These are these are 30 minute candles. Jeez. I don't know what happened there. Well, so this is what I'm looking at. So on the daily, we are in this uptrend that it just broke here. So if you see, started here, didn't get close to a bounce big time, came to it again, bounce, didn't touch it, bounced, and now it broke it. So we can see some sell-off back into the lower 50s, in my opinion. And what I'm really paying attention to is how the crypto stocks are gonna open tomorrow if this action continues. So this is our IoT riot, and this is our this is one of the the bigger ones, right? The of the of the mining stocks. So let's clear this drawing set. So this is what I'm looking at here. We have this support that it's been holding here. Let's zoom in a little bit. This support on the daily, that is, I mean, it's been holding quite well right here. My thing is if Bitcoin continues to sell off and this support breaks, meaning that it gaps down tomorrow, it could drop big time. It could, it could, it, we could see a very nice drop. And in my opinion, it will come down to this level. So on the thirties, if again, if Bitcoin continues to sell off our IOT, there is a good chance that it can gap down tomorrow. And once this support trend, this uptrend here is broken, I think it can it have room to come down all the way to the 30s and uh, I could probably start looking into it between 
right here. If it gets here, again, this is uh, a prediction, but I could be wrong. But I could, if our IoT by any chance gets into this level, I might start looking into it. Let's look at the daily uh, volume profile real quick. Volume profile. Okay. And this is what I mean. You see this lack of volume in this area? And you see how the the volume kicks back in here? This remember, this is historical volume data. Okay? This is the daily chart. So that's why I mean I didn't look at the volume profile, but that kind of like enforces my thesis on me looking to buy if it gets into this area right here. If it gets to even like low 30s, low 30s, I will start looking into picking up some uh, RIOT on the dip. And again, this is all depending on Bitcoin price action throughout the day and overnight. All right. Another one is MARA. <coughs> kind of <coughs> pretty similar scenario, right? Compared to um, our IoT. I think M MARA has a little bit more support down below than our IoT. But again, it could be, we could see a nice drop tomorrow if uh, Bitcoin continues to fall. And I think there is going to be, this week coming up, there is going to be some nice uh, deep buy opportunities on these, uh, on these crypto stocks. Let's take a look at SOS. It's been suffering. But again, we are at a very decent support right now. I said on my prior videos that I will wait, I will wait for it to get out of six. Because six is going to be a heavy resistance. But... Uh, I don't know. We, I'm gonna look at it. We're gonna pay close attention to SOS this week to see how it reacts to the price action on Bitcoin. They do have uh, earnings coming up in the next couple of months. I believe it's either end of May or beginning of June. So I, I would like to at least see some bouncing around here if we don't get a straight bounce, like I said on the last video. I will, at least I would like to see a bounce in this area. But again, Bitcoin is a, it was at all time highs the last couple of days. So some liquidation is expected. I don't think it's nothing to freak out. And I would not be buying a dip right now. If you don't have a position on Bitcoin, I would not be using this drop to get in. In my opinion, it's still too high and uh, it could come down a little more. And the other one that I wanted to uh, check on is uh, coin this historical data is going to be messed up because it just uh it went it just went public last week right through a direct listing so let's take that volume profile out and uh let's look at it on, on a different time frame because the daily chart is only three days so okay something like this this is the five day five day 15 minutes five day 15 minutes and again on coin it's still hard to do it really deep uh, technical analysis because literally this is all we have only three days of action so it's still like the volatility on coin is still gonna be pretty high even though it's obvious that this area that area right there was picked up pretty quick and I'm assuming that a lot of institutions and a, a lot of hedge funds and a lot of wells are picking up some coin down on these uh, levels, the low 300s. So that, that first day that it direct listed, it had a, a low of $310 right here. And as you can see, it hasn't gotten close to it. I mean, it hasn't got to it on the rest of the days that's been trading with the lowest at 315. So this low is gonna, this area on the 310 to 320, it's still gonna be considered dip buying right now 
Because again, there is no historical data to base any technical analysis on. So I just wanted to bring that up today that is Sunday and crypto still trading because that one doesn't stop. <laughs> but yeah, pay really close attention to Bitcoin guys because we have some, uh, this area, see how you react to that area. And then let's see if this support here, see if, if, if it's gonna hold. Because again, I mean, it, that was a nice bounce from 53,000 all the way to 55,000. But again, when we started the video, it was like 55.9, now it's at 55.2. So there is a lot of volatility as expected on Bitcoin right after hitting an all time high of like 60, what, 65? What's the all time high on Bitcoin? I think it's like 62 something or 65, I don't know. But again, volatility is expected. But just pay attention. Look how you just, okay. All right. So, and this video is meant more for the stock market part of the crypto, like RIOT, MARA, and SOS. But again, I think this week there is going to be uh, some uh, deep buy opportunities on these crypto stocks. But just remember, the volatility on these stocks is going to be pretty big compared to other sectors because bitcoin when it gets to these levels historically it gets very 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 volatile this thing could drop 20 grand by tomorrow morning it's that crazy because there is a lot of liquidation there's a lot of people taking profits so just keep in mind uh, you know analyze your risk risk management is paramount but yeah just keep it close Keep, keep uh, these uh, blockchain stocks on your radar this week because I think there's gonna be some nice nice opportunities, especially in RIOT and MARA. Hopefully SOS survives and uh, it doesn't break this support. This support right now is a very key level that it needs to hold because it literally if it breaks four dollars it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big drop guys it's gonna be a, a big drop so again guys just keep an eye on these uh blockchain stocks i hope you have a, a very nice sunday and i will probably be making a pre-market video tomorrow morning so stay tuned for that peace out